Hello, and welcome back to another Wednesday edition of Couch Funded. I'm George. I'm Aileen. Welcome to the show, Aileen. Thanks, George. Thanks for having welcome me. Welcome back. Thanks for having me on this um, oh-so-comfy couch. Oh-so-comfy. Uh, Wednesday means we're going to give some give you some recommendations to check out for crowdfunding campaigns. And yes. I say crowdfunding today instead of the usual Kickstarter because I'm jumping over to Indiegogo first. <laughs> That's right. I'm jumping platforms. Um, Indiegogo, it's a another just like Kickstarter, um, except for they have a few different options. Few different options that you can do when you're campaigning over there, um, but just as cool, just as good a site, just as reputable. Basically um, the same thing. Yeah, basically the same thing. So it's fair game and fair. Ga speaking of fair game, Ho -ho! let's get right into the irresponsibility, the Mr. Toast card game. Ah, Mr. Toast. Um, this game is already funded. Um, so we're not here to say help this get help this reach its goal, but what? there's something a little different about this campaign. Oh, do um, tell. It's one. It's part of Hasbro's Gaming Lab, and there are five games in Hasbro's Gaming Lab. Uh, this being one of them, and each one is vying for a win. Each one is trying to be. It's kind of like a contest where the winner gets a certain amount of money and they get to travel to Hasbro to kind of work with their development team to kind of help them create, develop, develop maybe not this game, but maybe other games or maybe, I, I'm not really sure what they're developing, but... You get some sort of Hasbro support. There's Hasbro support involved. So even if you're not, um, even if you don't want to back for a high level is they don't necessarily need a ton of money right now the more backers the better yes um because that's going to show that's hasbro true of any project right and that's going to show hasbro that there's people out there that like this that like this brand um and if if you don't know mr toast or if you don't know the brand let's actually, talk about the brand i have a few pieces we've been fans of mr toast you guys may not know but we love mr toast um the artist behind them is dan goodsell we've been fans of dan since i mean this this painting's from 2007 so we've been we've been buying these Basically paintings since we were born. We've been buying these paintings for quite quite a few years now. So this is one of the uh, early ones I bought, Candy Corn. Um, My favorite. I candy have corn. I have many different. I just grabbed a few off the wall that were reachable. There's many in this uh, in this here studio. Studio. Um, embrace childhood. I mean, come on, they're just they're adorable little things. They're, they're adorable really little paintings. Fun characters that Dan often puts a pop culture twist on. Each one is an actual painting it's a watercolor yeah. they're not just like prints original. um they're original watercolors so this the whole world of mr toast there's many characters joe the egg mr toast of course shaky bacon here's a shaky bacon dressed as he-man um it's it's a fun property um he does a he does a million paintings with these things yeah. and he's been building this brand for for a long time now I think making a card game is just a natural like progression. It's another cool way to get these tiny little. They pieces become almost like pieces of art, little prints, pieces of art um, that you but get to play with. But it's also a card game, and we like card games. Yeah, we do, and uh, it's actually it looks really fun. I mean, I haven't played it yet in person. Isn't there but, a good tagline? Um, irresponsibility is fun. Is is a fun, fast, family friendly card game? Is that the tagline you're I looking mean, that's for? a good tagline, but I think it said something in there about <laughs> players take turns. Either helping Mr. Toast be irresponsible by playing fun recreation cards or by saddling your opponents with responsibility cards to keep Mr. Toast from having fun. I don't know, I think that's funny. That sounds fun. Um, I think the game, you know, let's see, get in the game. Ten bucks, get in the game. Early bird. Twelve so bucks easy. if you missed it. So it's ten or twelve bucks, get you a card game. Um, it's going to be fun for the family. It's going to be definitely family friendly. Yes, absolutely. Um, the whole world of Mr. Toast really is. Um, it's... It's it's great. I don't know. And you know what? Also, while you're there, and I, I don't know, check out the other games yeah. in the gaming lab and just see if any of them are you know are up your alley. And congrats to Mr. Toast and the rest of these games for making it through over 500 entries from the Hasbro Game Lab. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to be the top five. Um, there's this thing ends I think on like December 2nd if I'm not mistaken. So uh, there's plenty of time. Get in there. Get in early. Get a game. Go check it out. Pledge a buck, even if you just just show your support for the brand. You know, pledge a dollar and up the up the count of people, up okay. the backer count. So it's great. Alrighty. Alrighty. Is, is it my turn? It is. What are you gonna be doing? All right, recommendation. So I haven't let you look at this yet. You haven't. I, it's the first time I'm seeing it. Well, this isn't a thing that you backed or that you would probably ever even back. Okay, let's see what it is. So it's called Beeline, smart navigation uh, for bicycles made simple. Okay. So now you're like, why? Why are you talking about this? Now this I know weird. why I would never back it. I don't have no, a bicycle. No, you don't have a bicycle. 
I don't really ride bikes want either. Want one? Don't have one. But I think this might be cool enough that you might want one, even though you don't have a bicycle. Okay. So this is actually already funded, and there's still some time to go. This one ends on Friday, November 27th. But I think it's cool enough that it merits looking at, even though it's already funded, like you should go check it out. And you also get a pretty good discount on the product itself okay. if you pledge ahead of time. So what it is is an app and a little physical piece of hardware. So it works with your, your smartphone. But as you can see, that little round bit, mm -hmm. that has a little cloth like tie, so it fits any bicycle. Okay. And then th th this piece comes out. It's basically like a little, like a little digital compass. compass. Okay. And it's made with, it says uh, e-reader ink. Like it's a backlit thing. So you can see it uh, in pretty much any weather. It's like weatherproof, it's tough, it's sturdy. And what you do is you put it on your bike and you tell your app where you want to go before you get on. Okay. Stick it in there, and it doesn't tell you, you stick your thing in the pocket. And then this just gives you, it's like a compass. So it gives you um, an arrow and how far it is to your destination. So you follow kind of the arrow, but it doesn't tell you turn left here, turn right there, do this, do that. Because when you're on a bike and you're trying to pay attention to the directions, you're missing the enjoyment of riding the bike. How so do I know when to turn right? Because you just follow, you, you know that if you're going this direction and the arrow's pointing this way, at your next cool opportunity to turn right, Make a veer right. It's all about this. It's this a product general is all about the general guideline. Yeah. I'm not in. What? I want this is so cool. Directions. No, this is so <laughs> cool. I want to just get it for walking around. Come on, you don't think that's cool? Yeah, I mean, I, I do. I like. Is it going to be like a like? I'm because when you're using navigation in a car and it's like turn right and you're like, hey, too late. I just passed it. Is it going to be like that? Now Probably I got to go around no, the block like on my bike. I want to get there fast. It shows you the approximate direction you need to head in, okay. or the exact direction you need to head in. And it's just like keep your keep your wheel going towards the arrow. Yeah, but then you're instead of paying attention to specific directions, you just glance down. You look at like, oh, I need to be going straight. Cool. I'm going to look around at what I'm looking at instead of focusing on that. I'd give it a shot. It's kind of interesting. Now, also when you're not using it for directions, apparently it has a lot of other applications. So right now it can show you things like speed, time, weather, but because it's gonna be sort of an open community, uh, there's gonna be a lot of other things that they could develop to mm. put on the screen while you're going. That's cool. Yeah, you I like the idea of it GPS being a... turn by turn, find friends, shortest routes, all sorts of things. I like the idea of it being a speed also speedometer as you, well you can also uh, put in a waypoint so if you're like i know i need to go here but i want to go via the whatever bridge or i want to go you know whatever way put down the thing all right i'm yeah. in i don't know it's kind of cool but there how was much also, is this uh i'm not sure where they're at right now because a, a, a bunch of the early bird uh, pledges have already been snapped up so if you go down a early little bit bird, early bird 60 bucks yes all which right. I think is a little bit off. And then you can also have it personally engraved for another few dollars. I don't need that. You might. <laughs> you don't know. Right, well, you don't even know if you need this. What if you got it and you're like, this is the funnest thing ever. I like it. I think it's a fascinating piece of technology. If I had a bike, I might back this. Yeah. Only a might. I almost kind of want it for my car. You have. What? <laughs> You have it's all about the navigation. journey. It's like, not about the destination. You don't want to be like, oh, I need to kind of make a left here <laughs> while I'm driving down the yeah, straight I do. road. No. That would actually be very helpful and less stressful. Oh, that's I'm driving from now on. <laughs> all right. Well, thank be you for lying. watching. <laughs> Stay tuned on Friday for another reward review. Reward review. Uh, don't forget you can follow us um, at, at CouchFunded on Twitter. Follow me at Aileen Gaspar. Um, you can also follow me on Kickstarter um, at, or it's just, I guess just type in, I don't know how you find people on Kickstarter, George, George you're, Gaspar. You're George Gaspar. I don't, yeah, I don't know really how to find people. I'm Aileen Gaspar. Um, so yeah, just uh, watch us here, subscribe on YouTube. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Friday for another reward review. Thanks everyone. See you later. Bye.